Chris doing such a great job showing us those mallards. And I walk around the show, and you, you guys, we talk about this all the time. When yeah. we see these mallards and all these outdoor kitchens, we're just in awe at some of the new models they have for 2021. And now, when we did the ultimate concert series for Camping World, oh my gosh, we had the most amazing U-Haul uh, toy hauler with mm -hmm. the, the biggest garage I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go into one with a 13-footer. You guys know all about the big toy yeah, haulers. The yeah. This is probably one, this is one of the best sections. <laughs> this is similar to our bias. rig. We have a toy hauler with a big garage as well. So all these units coming up, we're excited about. Yep. Yeah, Bryson, Nelly, Jergy, I'm Sean Parr, and uh, I've been in a toy hauler most of my life with my kids. Mm -hmm. My kids are all grown now. We've raced motocross, we've been everywhere. But when we pulled up, with that toy hauler, this one actually has a 13-foot garage. That's and we backed insane. it down and created that balcony. And when you go out in the morning, you sit there with your Oof. cup of coffee and you throw that uh, fishing pole out from the deck, or you sit there in the evening and you catch some catfish. Absolutely. I mean, you set a whole new standard. I mean, actually, that's why, I mean, sneak peek, you guys, for the future, but we are renovating our toy hauler garage into a bedroom for that very reason. So we have that deck and... You wake up and it's beautiful. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and the separation from the kids, too. Yes. We're ready for it. It's the Keystone Raptor. Take a look at this beauty. This is the 413. Wow. Let's talk about some toy haulers with big garages. And I don't think you can talk about toy haulers without talking about probably one of the most premier brands in the industry, which is the Keystone Raptor. And, folks, this is the Raptor 413. It's a beautiful floor plan. You have a 13-foot garage back here, which, you know, if you've been looking at toy haulers, you probably know 13-foot is kind of right at that cutoff mark of being able to fit a side-by-side -side in uh, in the garage. So if that's something you're looking for, you want to make sure that you're able to fit your side-by-side, -side, I always do recommend making sure you take the dimensions of the one you're looking at or the one you currently have just to be sure. But 13-foot is generally that cutoff of where you should be just fine. Now, when we take a look back here in the garage, I want to talk about a couple things of note. Now, you know, it's a, it's a little chilly out today, as you can see by my 15 layers of clothing and my gloves here. Um, but if you take a look out the back, even though we don't have it opened up, you'll notice a couple things. One, the doors themselves. I love what they've done here. So rather than use uh, like a, a simple screen or, you know, some manufacturers have like roll down screens, with Raptor, you get actual sliding doors, right? And you want to talk about being able to be in a space, you know, in an extended season, like the fall, spring, something like that, and still be comfortable in here. That right there is a great way to do it. Now, you can remove the uh, panes of glass in there if you just want a screen, you know? So if you want the breeze to come through, you can absolutely do that. But it's easy to open, easy to close. You don't have to mess with the zipper. You know, kids can go in and out super simple and easily. And so I personally just love what they have done. Now, when the ramp is dropped, you also... Also, of course, have your party deck as you would expect. I mean, you know, if you starting to get into premium toy haulers, it's all about the deck life, right? So you drop that out, you're good to go. You have the steps right here, so that way you can enter and exit right from that party ramp if you so choose. Of course, you also have another entrance right here into the garage. While we're looking at the garage, you can see a couple things. Um, you know, it, it is an insulated garage floor. That's going to be important. Uh, one of the quick and easy ways to tell, just to give you a little piece of knowledge, right? If we take a look at the difference right here. So, you know, your RV floors will normally be insulated. If you come into the garage and the garage is lower than what the main floor is, there's a good chance your garage isn't insulated. The garage floor isn't. And if you plan on having people stay back here, which, you know, you have two queen beds, chances are you're probably going to have people sleeping back here. I personally would want a garage floor, or, uh, uh, insulated garage floor if it's getting cold out. And this one will have that. You also see the D-rings, the tie-downs all the way around, big heavy-duty tie-downs. Uh, rollover sofas, if you haven't seen them before. You know, they're pretty common in the industry. They, they roll over, just like the name implies, into a bed. So just like that, you'll do the same thing on the other side to get the bed here. When you lift these up, you can have it lift up, you know, in bed form if you want. Just like this, it'll go right up underneath the bed. Both those will lift all the way up to the ceiling. That will give you maximum width. If you need the maximum width of the garage, that's the way to do it. If you need a little more height, like you have a golf cart with you know, the top on it, something like that, you can drop the sofas down to the side and it won't, you know, of course, there'll be a little bit uh, extra on the side here, so you won't get as much width, but you will get a little more height. So uh, it does give you some versatility in how you want to pack your toys in here. Now, 
Couple quick things, if we take a look up at the ceiling I wanna point out, you'll see electrical outlets on the ceiling. You know, they, they're thinking about people right here. If, if you're sleeping up there, you probably still have a cell phone, it probably still needs to be charged at night. That's when I charge mine. So this gives you the capability to do that. You also see an AC unit up here. Folks, one of the great things about Raptor is they are one of the few brands that use the Omni-Chill AC system, where this unit actually has three ACs and all three are able to run simultaneously. That's something that normally isn't possible, but they have like a nice soft start, you know, low power consumption. So they're able to run all three, which really gives you super efficient cooling all the way through here, even on the hottest days. So, you know, sometimes again, you, you get what you pay for. The Raptor certainly isn't the least expensive unit out there, but you get top end amenities. And we do have excellent pricing. I mean, this one, you know, it, it sleeps eight, you're a little under 15,000 pounds dry. So nice and big. 43 foot, six inches long. And this one is starting at under $81,000, which is about 16 bucks and 20 cents a day. Another big thing too, when we talk about toy haulers, folks, if you wanna get out there, right? You wanna be off the grid, this one can do it too. You have a 106 gallon fresh tank, uh, which, you know, again, isn't super uncommon for a lot of toy haulers to have big fresh tanks, but a lot of times they tend to fall off on the gray and black. This one has 82 gallon gray, 82 gallon black, so huge tanks all the way around. Uh, if we flip it around, I do want to show you some quick stuff up here. There's so much to talk about on this RV, I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time, but we have storage on both sides here, electrical outlets, TV right there in the center, washer dryer hookup, so if you want a washer and dryer, you can certainly have that in here too. And you will see right here is a half bath, porcelain bowl, you have the faucet there. And we'll see in just a second, you have two entrances into this bathroom here. Now bear in mind folks, when we talk about toy haulers, this doesn't have to be for someone that has a side-by-side -side or quads or motorcycles. If you just have a big family and you have a lot of stuff that you wanna bring, you know, maybe you need to, to sleep eight people and you wanna bring eight bicycles. That's a tough thing to do a lot of times, but with the toy hauler, you have all this storage space where you can put all those bikes and still be able to have space for everyone to sleep in here. Uh, and so, you know, don't count a toy hauler out just because you don't have toys. You know, bicycles or anything else can still be considered a toy. Let me kind of move this to the side here for you, Kevin. This is the ladder so we can climb up into the loft. If you're able to come through and actually spin around, I'll show everyone real quick. So right up top there is a loft again, and that is part of that extra sleeping capacity. You have the ladder to be able to climb right up in there. Uh, now, if we take a look at our campsite, you'll see a couple different things. One is a really nice pull-out pantry. You can see that right there. You can see it's beautifully finished inside. You know, it's not rough. I, I love that they actually finished that off. Um, and then you will see the Norcold 18 cubic foot fridge freezer. Now, one of the things I love about this one, folks, is that this one does run off both electric and propane. A lot of times when you start getting into, you know, 18 cubic foot fridge, you're into residential only. And, you know, maybe you don't wanna have to run your generator to run your fridge. Well, with this one, you don't have to. You can use that propane to keep everything nice and cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Theater seats here as well. I, <laughs> it sounds funny when I say it, but you know, it wouldn't be a toy hauler without theater seats, right? Seems like just about every floor plan out there has them. Um, but for good reason, they're super comfortable, especially, you know, if you are out riding toys after a hard day's riding, you're gonna want something that's nice and soft to sit on. This right here will be exactly that. Uh, you'll see that you have a spot for remotes there, some cup holders, those are, uh, these light up. They also have massage and heat features, which are cool. Now, we'll get to the rest of the living area in a second. Before we do, I do wanna to touch on the kitchen. L-shaped kitchen, solid surface countertops, nice big sink, plenty of storage all the way around here. A spot for the trash can. You'll see that the countertop lights up, just absolutely gorgeous. Good spot here for a coffee maker off to the side. You know, plenty of kitchen storage all the way throughout, including storage underneath the oven. Now, as I mentioned, I said you had dual access to the bathroom, and so you have this right here. Now, uh, the reason I do like this, they didn't have to put a door here, they could have uh, put nothing. I should probably show you this too, storage up top, right? Big storage, hard to access, you'll definitely need a step stool because toy haulers have such high ceilings, but at least they gave you storage there. Uh, but the reason I like this is, you know, if you don't want to go upstairs, or maybe you have bad knees, it's hard to get up and down stairs, you have a bathroom that is on the main floor, which is pretty cool. So I do really enjoy that. So, you know, if you're sitting here, you just want to get up and use that, you can. Uh, you know, we'll see the other bathroom in just a second, but I like that they at least gave you that option, didn't just leave it a plain wall. Now, the rest of the 
uh, living area, right? Because it is a mid-living. It's right here. You get the, you know, kind of L-shaped lounge area. Super comfy. Big windows letting in a ton of natural light. Huge slide heights. Another big advantage of toy haulers, folks. Take a look at this slide height, right? If, you've, if you're a tall person and you're sick of getting out of a, a sofa and hitting your head on a slide, consider a toy hauler. With slides like this in the main living area, there's no way you're going to be knocking your head on that. Taking a look here, entertainment center, big TV, multimedia center right there with some speakers. And of course you have the fireplace underneath, plus a central vac to help vacuum everything up, keep everything nice and clean. Talked about bad knees, I love this too. Take a look, you have a built-in grab handle to be able to get up the stairs. The in-command system is a fantastic touchscreen system. You can run everything on here, generators, awning, lights, uh, auto level, everything can be done right from there. Now we step into the main bathroom. You'll see porcelain toilet, right? Kind of right down there. Porcelain, of course, being nice and easy to clean. Plenty of space. The shower, you can see, you know, if I stand in there, again, I have good head height here. So even, you know, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 I'll still be able to stand in there. Beautiful shower surround, which for the record, that's a one-piece shower. So less chance for any kind of leaks, which is definitely, I, I know, a big concern. If in, Unless you've had a remodel at home, chances are you have a one-piece shower in your home. And so you know the value of having a one-piece and probably how long you've had that shower or tub and know that, uh, you know, you haven't had any issues. It'll be the same here. Kind of a, almost a cool, like, uh, living... Uh, rock edge on there, right? Uh, just, you know, kind of a neat design. Living rock, uh, that sounds oxymoronic, I guess. But um, there, you know, so you say living wood, I don't know what else you want to call it, but it's kind of a cool rock edge. You can see that there. And then when we come into the bedroom, folks, last couple things I want to touch on. You do have slide out wardrobe space, so plenty of space right up there. Storage all the way around, nightstands, and there's a TV at the foot of the bed if you want that as well. Plus that third AC right there in the bedroom with its own separate thermistor, so you're able to control it. I'm telling you folks, from the inside out, this thing is absolutely loaded. Let's start right up front. One of the big things with toy haulers is generators. I have a lot of people that ask me, hey, can I get an RV with a generator? Well, I'm here to tell you, unless it's a toy hauler, uh, chances are pretty low, right? We're talking about towables. Uh, you know, if you, there are some fifth wheels, some of your higher end fifth wheels where you can get generators, but especially travel trailers. Folks, if you want a travel trailer with a generator, it's look at a toy haulers. Again, even if you don't have toys, it's still an excellent option. Dropping down right underneath here, coming zone in 5,500 watt, folks. There it is. That bad boy will power everything in here. Now, you also see two 30 pound propane tanks. You know, as I said, that fridge can run off propane. If you want to do so, you're going to want to make sure you have a lot. That'll do it. You get some storage right in here. Your in command system with the brain box will be there as well. To make our way around back, there's a lot I want to touch on on this one, too, folks. This one has auto level, touch a button, it levels itself out, super simple. Outside speakers, you can see the auto level right here, right? There's, there's your jack. Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, that will give you three inches of travel, helping to take out a lot of those bumps in the road, giving you a nice smooth ride. Uh, triple axle, with weight like this, you definitely want the triple axle. This one has about 3,800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, by the way, in case you're wondering and you can put 3,000 of that in the garage. So again, if you have a lot of stuff you wanna put back there, no issues at all. Backup camera comes standard. You have an awning on the back, so when you're living that deck life, you can put that awning out. And on the other side, you have a fuel fill station over here, folks, 60 gallons of fuel. So if you do have those toys and you wanna fill it up, you are going to be good to go with this bad boy. And if you're interested in this beautiful Raptor, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. 
demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We've actually used a good SAM uh, navigation system, which where you can plug in the length, the height, and the weight of your RV, and it'll give you a safe route to travel. If you want to, you can plan your meals well ahead of time and make sure you have everything you need for your whole RV trip. You can literally get everything you need, have your RV packed, and not have to worry about stopping at source to pick up anything. I'm Brianna. And I'm Craig. And we're from Crazy Family Adventure. Today we'll be covering how to plan the ultimate RV family road trip. All right, folks, and here we go. Another toy hauler with a great garage. This one also coming in at 13 foot. Folks, this is the Forest River XLR Boost 37 TSX 13. Now, here's the cool thing about being Camping World, see, is we have a huge assortment of RVs and inventory that we can get. I mean, you know, if you've been watching the show, you know that we have over 80,000 pieces that are on order. We have over 20,000 pieces that are on our lots. Again, more coming in every single day. And the cool thing is, as we go through some of these, you'll start to see some of the differences. And the fact that when it, we're talking about RVs, there truly is something for everyone, from every budget to every lifestyle. Now, we saw the Raptor, and that's a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous toy hauler. You know, big triple axle, it's a monster, has, you know, it's loaded to the gills with amenities, but it's also a little bit pricier. So what if you want a big toy hauler, you still want that 13 foot garage, you want great living space, but maybe you want something that's a little bit less expensive, something a little bit more budget friendly. Well, that is where this boost comes in, folks, because you can pick this one up for a starting at under $50,000, which is under seven bucks a day. And as we go through, I think you'll agree with me, that is a pretty great deal for what you're getting. So let's start off right here on the back. So one of the first things right away that I love, and I talk about this all the time, is the fact this one has the party deck. And that's something, at least for me, when I'm talking about toy haulers, is very important, because that's one of the things I love. Now, you get all the garage space for all your goodies, or you know, for any toys or extra cargo that you want to bring with you. You get all that extra sleeping space, but you also get that party deck. So you can drop that back. You have the more ride system to make sure that's all enclosed, so no one's falling off and hurting themselves after a cocktail or two, or if you have littles running around, right, they're not running off and again, getting injured. Uh, up top, of course, is that queen bed and on the sides, the rollover sofa. And just like we saw in the Raptor, if you want, these can flip up and lock in place to give you a little more width. Right now we have this one maximized for height. And as I said, this is still a 13 foot garage. You can see the D rings all around. So if you do have toys, you can lock them down. Or again, let's say you have a bunch of bikes in here. Great, put a bunch of bicycles. You can lock all those down, totes, whatever else you need. Some of your bigger items, grills, chairs, all of that can fit right back here. Washer dryer, still good to go. There it is, folks. You have washer dryer prep, no problem at all. Now. Right here is the half bath. Now, if you notice, a little bit different than what we had in the Raptor, because you know the Raptor had that entrance from the kitchen. Here we don't have that, but that's okay. The main point is the fact you still have a half bath. It's easily accessible from the garage. And you have, of course, the second entrance to the garage. So, you know, if you just want to head right back in and use that, you can, or if you're hanging out on the party deck, great, head right in, use that, you're good to go. Coming on through here, you'll see the big glass door. It's absolutely gorgeous when we step into the living area. Again, we get a little bit different layout than what we had before. So instead of theater seats, this one goes to essentially a sofa. You still have the armrests. And if you notice in the armrests, these ones also have the light, the massage, and the heat function. So you're not losing out there. USB port so you can charge your phones. Uh, but nice and comfortable. These do recline. They do kick back. So, you know, again, you get the, the theater seats or the recliners here. And you just have a great shot to the TV. You can see that right here. Um, you know, so if you want to watch something, you have the ability to do it. Fireplace underneath. Able to keep your toes nice and toasty there. Uh, you'll also, if you come right in here, second Kevin, one of the cool things about this floor plan, turn around, show them up top. Take a look at that loft. So you have the loft space, but that loft goes all the way around and back over here. And you have this net, which I currently have uh, undone, 
but you have all this extra storage up here too, which is pretty cool. So if you need to get up there, um, you know, you have the access, plus you have sleeping space up there. So they really did a good job of utilizing some of that space up top. While we're over here, I'm gonna show you, you get a nice big pantry in this layout, right? You gotta have, some, chances are you're gonna have a lot of people, you gotta have a spot to store your food, and that's exactly what you get here. And then the countertop, plenty of countertop space. You know, you have this peninsula, and so you have prep space here, prep space here. You still have enough space for a coffee maker if you want a coffee maker. High rise faucet, upgraded countertops, undermount stainless steel bowl in there. You can see plenty of drawer space and it's nice deep drawers here as well. So if you have some of those bigger items, you're able to fit them in there. You know, good spot for pots and pans underneath the sink and then more uh, drawers right over to the side plus additional storage here up top. So I think they did a good job, you know, giving you some ample kitchen storage and ample prep space. Right over to the side is our Norcold fridge freezer combo. We'll open that guy up for you so you can take a look. Again, plenty of uh, storage in that one too for some of your cold items. That center shelf does kind of uh, fold back up on itself. So if you have some taller items, you can fit them in there. Net up top here, more prep space, another electrical outlet. So if you didn't want the coffee maker there, you want it here, boom, you're all set. Recess, three burner cooktop, that glass cover. Again, if you wanna prep here, you have all this space to do it. You need to cook, no worries, just flip this up and back. That front one's high output. So if you have high altitude, need to boil some water, that's the one you're gonna wanna use. Oven underneath, gotta do some bacon, great. You also see the shelf there, plus you have this big storage. I mean, that's great for any pots and pans, again, right? Big, huge storage space right there. So, you know, as you can see, you're getting a lot here. You get the 13-foot garage, it's uh, pre-wired for solar, I should mention. Uh, it has a spot for a solar controller in the garage if you want it. Big loft area, AC right up top here too, of course. You know, you have dual AC helping to keep everything uh, nice and cool. And then you have the big countertop. So, you know, you may not have three ACs like you had in the Raptor, but again, you know, we're, we're at a lower price point. You know, this one is a, a much lower barrier to entry. You're looking to get out there. You want something that's still really nice, but you know, again, maybe a little more affordable. The Boost is definitely the one, folks. Grab this handrail, come on up. You can see here, this is the control for your generator. Um, you know, this is kind of my, my only uh, complaint, I guess, is I wish it wouldn't have been quite so low and, and next to a handrail. Uh, makes me just kind of want to accidentally hit it. Now, it's not going to cause any harm, right? I mean, you have to hold it to start it. Um, but, you know, for littles and stuff, if you have littles in here, I just don't want them messing with the generator. Not a huge thing, just a, a little a personal thing on my behalf. You know, like anyone else, folks, when, when I look at RVs, right, I, I draw from my experiences, right? Like, I, I picture myself in the RV, like, okay, how would this work for me? You know, how would this work? And I think of my, my five-year-old daughter who's going to run around and go, ooh. <laughs> but that's me, right? Uh, so, so very different for a lot of other people. We come in here. You have, again, ample storage space there for your towels. Just roll them up, set them all up in there. Toilet space, I'll take a seat here. Six foot, a little over 200 pounds. You can see I have plenty of room, no problems. For this shower, again, just to show you, when I step in here, no problem at all, folks. Don't have to duck down, I am good to go. I have the skylight, you know, so if you're 6'2", maybe 6'3", you know, you're Chris Young height, you can stand in here, no problem, shower off. No issues at all. And then mirrored medicine cabinet there, big countertop too. That, that I do want to talk about because I love that. And because it is upgraded countertop, it allows them to undermount that stainless steel bowl. And then of course, you will also see that you have some storage under there. It's also worth mentioning there's a heat vent in here, folks. You have heat and AC plus your uh, max air fan. So, you know, whether it's, it's hot out, whether it's cold out, you're going to have excellent climate control there in the bathroom. Then we step up into the bedroom. You'll notice storage all across the top here. You have some shelves over on one side with USB ports plus an electrical outlet right there. A couple more USB ports over here plus an electrical outlet there and your wardrobe. Now, now what you'll notice is I don't have quite the head height here, right? You know, you see it does kind of start to duck down a little bit. Not a big deal, it just you know, helps take a little bit of weight out of it, but just remember, that, you know, when you're going to get in and out of bed, you might not be able to stand up. At six foot tall, I do have to duck a little. You also see your second AC, again, as I mentioned, helping to keep things nice and cool. Right over there is another wardrobe. So a couple different wardrobes, be able to hang your clothes. You have a nice set of drawers right down here. And if you want a TV, this is where it'll be mounted 
excuse me, this is where you'll mount it here in the bedroom. So if you wanna watch a show before bed, you're able to do that. And remember folks, this one is starting at under $50,000, which is super impressive. Uh, just a, an absolute excellent deal for such a big machine. As we take a step outside, you can see the upgraded steps here. The more ride step above step system, aluminum treads. You have the grip tape, which on a day like today where I have you know, a lot of slush on the bottom of my feet, it actually does a pretty good job of giving me some extra traction. Adjustable feet on the bottom, so you can adjust that to uh, you know, whatever campsite you may have. And then as we come around front, right here is generator prep. So if you want a generator, this is where it will go. You'll see the cutout right here. Uh, all the pre-wiring and everything is already done. So makes it nice and easy to pop one right in there. If you ever think you may want a generator, folks, this goes for any RV and generator prep is an option, you should get it because it takes a lot of work to even do the prep. But just remember, even if it has the prep, a lot of times there's still a lot of stuff they have to do to put the generator in. So if you want one, getting one from the manufacturer may not be a bad idea, but if, you know, if that's not an option, then definitely get one with the prep, especially when we're talking about toy haulers. Propane here, let me see, open that up for you. So you can see there you have one tank here, another tank on the other side, opening this guy up, magnetic catch, taking a look there. So you'll see, you know, uh, uh, storage it has a motion sensor light in there. Not a huge storage compartment, but again, we have that huge garage in the back. So it's not really a make it or break it, at least for me. Taking a look up top, power awning with LED lights. We'll have another one on the back. We'll see in just a moment. A couple different speakers. You have one right up here and another one in the back, right? So that way, uh, you know, you're getting that, getting that stereo sound coming through, right? That, uh, so that way it actually sounds stereo. Sometimes they put them right next to each other. It just sounds like one big speaker. It's very mono, so it's nice having them split like that. You'll also see right down underneath, triple axle right there. If you wanna hook up a TV, this is where you'll hook it up at connections there too. Now, again, as I mentioned, we were inside. This one does have the second entrance, so you can enter right into the garage. And on the very back here is a leash latch, so if you have any uh, pets, you can hook them up right there. And if you take a look up at the very top, again, we have that power awning. So when that power awning is out, it will shade them. Uh, quick, We'll quickly talk about the back here, but pretty easy, you know, pretty standard ramp door right here, just lock it if you need to lock anything up. And then up top, you have an LED light as well as your backup camera prep. And remember folks, as I mentioned, this one does have the party deck. So folks, if you're looking for toy haulers, there are so many differences. And I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, that it doesn't matter what budget you're looking at, you know, or, or what's going to be right for you. There is an option out there. We have an RV for you, whether you want to spend 90,000, if you want to spend 40,000, 20,000, you know, or, or maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe you're up into the 150,000. We have toy haulers that will hit all those price points, different amenities. We can get different floor plans, different weights, double axle, triple axle, over 20,000 here on the lots, over 80,000 coming. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. They say life is about the little things. 
those moments we unplug. Packing up the camper after a long week. Making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. If you've wandered the mountains or ridden the trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless, or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors forever. It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone.